Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Hello, this motorhome I've got in front of me is the Chausson 660 Ultimate. And uh, on the subject of high prices, it now costs 80,000 euros. Uh, why did I say on the subject of high prices? Well, that's where it is now for just about everything. Let's have a look at this vehicle here. So what you see has got an awning, though then again, all vehicles do. Uh, this one here is, okay, the kickoff price is 72 and a half, uh, seven meter class, 235 uh, centimeters wide, and a height of 292, four sitting places, and uh, it's a 135 liter fridge. Aha, uh -huh. so it's a four kilowatt um, heater and uh, empty weight uh, 3033, giving uh, 4,000, sorry, what I'm saying, uh, 467 uh, kilos of payload. Well, we probably won't give that up, probably just over 400 or something uh, with the extra kit and all the rest of it in here. So, you've got an enormous enormous lounge in here lots of space here this is a van with a television uh, and all the kit around it to watch it that is to say a lot of space to sit in what about the rest of it well you can come to the back here we've got a fridge 135 pieces as i mentioned kitchen at the back and here we've got the tradesman's entrance so it's got a porch at the back it's got a sort of a garage on the other side stacks of storage here and a, a toilet that looks a bit like some of these ones that are in the street in France I was thinking there because of the shape of it mind you the ones in France probably don't have a shower to go with it and, uh, and there's the shower Mind you, I do like to have, to give, I find it gives me more space if I've got the, uh, I, I don't have to open the wall, but hey, this show is enormous, isn't it? It's pretty big, really. I'm seven, seven, come, how, how can I show it? Now? Turn the thing around, that'll do. There you go, look, look at all this. Look at all this space up there, space. You know, you can bring your pet giraffe in here for your, uh, for your shower. That's really good. And, and, close the door as well. And you've got a sensible sliding door here behind. That slider only it's uh it's it's I'll turn the thing back. It's got a thing on it here, which I would have to take off. I'll leave it on as the vehicle is uh, is new. Um two burners here in the kitchen. You might say, well that's not enough in the seven meter van lock. It's got lots of other stuff. And up here we've got storage. I mean, there's plenty of headroom here. Uh, there's this, yeah, I'll turn the thing on again. Yeah, look at all this headroom right here. And I'm going to walk down now to be under the, under the bed. I'm under the bed and, I, you know, one of the reasons I don't like beds in this position is because there's no headroom. But even here, look, look, there's still all this headroom there. So, I mean, that's all pretty good. Can't complain at that. And, uh trying to find something to complain about. Uh, well, it's a show, so that's probably something to complain about. All right, so you've got your control panel here. You can see what's going on inside the vehicle. You can turn your lights on here. You can see how much you can turn the water on here. And you can also see the score on the electricity and on the water, how much you've got in there. You can turn on the, um, the heater here as well. And what about the table? This is, uh, this is sure someone's done this in other vehicles. This table like this comes out quite original, really. And uh, there you go. There's the table out. 
So I've got to say that this is a motorhome for watching the television. Sit here and watch this. Ooh, you might say, well, I could have done a put a bigger television in here, couldn't they? Really, I suppose they could have done. Really, considering what it is, I mean, I'm personally, I, I just watch uh, anything on my um, on my on my mobile phone, and uh, I suppose if I had guests around, I might watch it on the computer. But this has got on. Oh, well, I think that's quite. I think that's quite impressive. Uh, if you really want to have a television on wheels okay so what else have, what else have we got here it's on a Ford basis and you've got up here a uh, skylight as well and, oh another thing nice thing you've got all this storage space up here so you, you can keep your your keys for the house you lived in 13 years ago and go up there and if you know, yeah, any coins you've picked up from Ecuador and this type of thing and go there. Assuming you don't live in Ecuador, that is. If you want to use the bed, you're going to need to know how to get the bed down. And so first of all, you need the key. All the keys are the same, so that's not the difficult bit. The difficult bit is finding the secret place the bed key goes into. And it's been hidden. And it's been hidden. I'm not going to tell you where it's been hidden. It's a secret. So, in goes the key. Turned it around. And now I've got to push something. What do I push? Right, so the key's in. And now we'll come and do the next bit, which is around here. Mm -hmm. This is also a secret, so don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. And. Let's now have a look at the bed coming down. Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, that's what the bed looks like when it's down. Um, in this case, you've always got one has to be careful that not to touch anything. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> so you need a bit of a bit of space under the bed. That's what it looks like. And uh, good. So you see, you got a big bed here. Now, um, when the bed's down, I suppose you could theoretically sit under the table. You can certainly turn the chairs around up front. It maybe you won't be able to watch the television. Let's put the thing back up again right now. Go out the tradesman's entrance. We'll have a look at the drawers. There we go. And see what we can see out here. Oh, what? Well, that will happen. <laughs> no. I sh Sometimes there's a step in the uh, the van and I miss it. Uh, there, I fell down that step, didn't fall, but I twisted my, my foot coming down there. Right, so let's have a look at this one. This is the Titanium Ultimate 660, assuming, of course, that there's no one inside. And there we go. So how does this one differ? Well, to me, it looks exactly the same. I don't think I opened this thing here, open the other one. There you go, and there's the wardrobe. Well, I think it looks the same. Ah, uh, the one thing I didn't mention was the weight on the bed. So it's a hundred, the bed's 160 centimeters. I think the, the weight in the bed, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's either 180 or 200 ki kilos. Uh, or it's 150. If it's 150, then two people in it, it mightn't be enough, but it's 200. It probably is enough, but that definitely needs to be checked. If you've got something like that, 
do be specific because if two people get in and exceed the bed limit and bang, there's no excuses on the guarantee whatsoever. Uh, one thing I didn't add was that here there is a door to keep the tradesman's entrance uh, closed. Now I'm going to be very careful to walk out here to stop it so I don't twist my foot on the way out. And so there you have it. The uh, Chausson 660 motorhome for the 2023 Titanium Ultimate, a motorhome, no, let's call it what it is, it's a television on wheels. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that interesting, and all the best from me in Dusseldorf. This is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've been doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with, a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now what's the point of a toilet additive? Well when you use the toilet then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now uh, if you just urinate into it then there should be no problem but if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. Now, there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's... Uh, ecological. What it's got inside are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well, I have constant diarrhea, and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's it's a bit. Uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice. Uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical 
open manner. I, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature, I mean, there's even there's warnings that, I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like that, I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in the fish tank, then the fish will die. So, um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now, the blue stuff as well, I've noticed, I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But Sorry, I get it in the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains, and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not, but... Um, it's uh, with this stuff. It's uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time. You think, hang on, just a minute. I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way. That's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people. Uh, uh, having this problem and um, let's have another look at it because here it comes in two uh, this one one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know but it's it's different this contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now, um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now, I previously worked in the packaging industry. And indeed, I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert, but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe, I think, to use. It's not, I mean, it's often used in bag in the box applications, and so you, know, you get wine or something, the wine's in a, in, a, um, in a box, and it got this tap that sticks out, and you, and you use it. In the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice, we used this technology, and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience. But when they first came out, I agree there was problems with them. I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they, uh, you know, in, the, in the van and something hit here. In theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down. At the, oh, sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So, I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong. Just as I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will uh, go out. But I make, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is. But uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic. It's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now, it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now, I do appreciate that um, in, um, with, if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although, I think if you're into motorhomes, then you're probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it for really I think I think it's the call of nature this contact with nature and all the rest of it so I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium yes maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it but in all honesty this between this one and the blue stuff there's hardly any difference right so uh, if you find that of interest there will be a link below it's not an affiliate link it just tell you where to get the stuff from um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all deliberately so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link but I do absolutely believe in this product so, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. 
uh, but I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.